Coming across my desk today is a new product from By Valane, and I can't actually believe that I'm saying that. It's been absolutely forever since we've been able to say those words, but we are indeed talking about a new product from By Valane, and according to the brand, this is a one-of-a-kind platinum wax made in celebration of their 10th anniversary. Officially speaking, they rank this as a 2 out of 3 on the hold scale, which they do call a high hold, and a 1.5 on the shine scale, which they call a smooth, natural finish. They also say it adds fullness and texture, and it's infused with argan oil for effortless styling. Price-wise, we are looking at $22 for 2.2 ounces. Looking over at the scent now on this one, it is described by the brand as a captivating woody scent, I believe they call it. And for me, it's, sorry, choke, pause for choking, pause for choking. 12 seconds later. I want to say this is not the brand's fault. This is not their fault. I choke up at different fragrances. It's not their fault. This one here, though, is very different from any scent that they have used in the past, for sure. I think the, the profile comes off to me as a bit floral, which is probably why it's choking me up. I need to put the lid back on. Christ's sake. I need to put the lid back on. A lot of floral scents tend to choke me up like this, but you know, obviously that's just me. Their other fragrances have not been this floral though, so it is quite different than anything else that they have used in the past, in my opinion. Looking at the scoop now on this one, though, this one is a bit different also that from what we have seen from Bivalane as far as the waxes go. Even the special edition waxes that we've seen from this brand have had a thicker scoop than this one. Of course, looking at the line as a whole, we have seen seen creamy scoops from by Valane in the products like the pomade, for example, the power made pomade that they used to have. They don't have, I don't believe they have it anymore, but they, that one used to have a very lotion like consistency. And this one here isn't quite on that level, but it's pretty creamy. You know, it comes out much creamier than say the gold digger or even silver Fox. When it hits the hand though, you do get to see some of those personality traits from those other products begin to present themselves. You get some of that attitude in the hand. In other words, you get a little bit of tack, a little bit of waxiness there. Nothing like the other waxes in this line. It's definitely not on the level of Gold Digger, in other words, but you for sure got a little something going on there. Now, though, once again, let's take a look at our final result from the styling phase here. We can see this was the final result with nothing but this product in my hair. Let's take a look now at eight hours into the day. At the end of the day, you can see we still got a lot of hold going on there. There's still a great amount of hold that you can see. I could take my hair straight up if I wanted to. The hold level is still very solid. And and honestly, things are looking very good from this perspective, even eight hours into the day. For the washout now, I awarded this one the label of easy washout, which for me falls in the category of products that come out either with just water or with one shampoo. And in this case, it came out with just water, so I probably just completely over explained everything that I just said and, and totally overshared. But you know, there you go. For my verdict now on this one, I am gonna try to make this verdict section more categorical, I think, with more definitive and Answers. I think it's just easier to follow that way. Who knows if I'll actually be able to do that, you know, because I try to do a lot of things and then I, I, you know, I just choked on camera five seconds ago. So, you know, whatever. Let's give it a go, though. Let's 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 try starting with looking at that final result one more time. And as we do, here is what I see. I see the wax that every person who has ever complained Gold Digger was too sticky or tacky needs to try. If any of those were too intense for you, which I'd like to say for the record, though, they've never been too intense for me. I have been using those products longer than my son's been alive. I've been using them forever and they've always worked very well for me. But I've also, over the years, heard folks say that those products are too intense for them. You know, it tugs in your hair, etc. And if any of you have ever felt that way about those products, this one here is the one that you need to try, okay? It's like a tamed down version of Gold Digger, a creamy tamed down version of Gold Digger or Silver Fox. Silver Fox maybe is more applicable because of the natural finish on that one. But either way, I think the attributes presented here just opens itself up to more hair types, more types of styles, and it just makes for an overall easier styling experience. For the hold though, I would definitely say for me, it's on the higher end of medium. I don't think I would quite call it a high hold personally. For criticism, for, for stuff that I, I pointed out as cons on this product, I would say the scent starting off just wasn't my favorite. And I don't mean just because it choked me out. I don't, I don't, I, I don't mean because it like, you know, gave me a choke slam a few seconds ago. I mean, just 
based on what it is. I think they they have had much better options in the past. That one that they used on that limited edition gold digger, for example, was was just phenomenal. And I, I would have liked to have seen something like that. It wasn't, though, a big deal. I've still used this several times, even outside of reviewing. It didn't turn me off completely. I just thought, again, it could have been a little better. I also think that they should have gone with a matte finish for this instead of allowing for that natural finish. I think the argan oil kind of brought about that natural finish. And I understand why they wanted to use that. I'm not you know, really knocking it all that much. I just think this product could have been next level if they would have uh, just brought in that matte finish from like the gold digger, for example. That being said, I think this is a solid addition to the lineup. It doesn't step on the toes of any of the other line items. And, you know, it really gives a nice lane to folks that might have been turned off by the Gold Digger or, again, the Silver Fox, you know, with that tug and the, the dryness of those products. This really opens things up for those people to try this lineup again. The final verdict, though, is, as always, up to you. And if you would like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. That is it for today's review. Thanks so much, as always, for watching. Remember to subscribe like all that awesome stuff. It's very much appreciated. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.